Hello everyone, in this video I'm going to be talking to you about the DevOps projects. So Microsoft introduced this new DevOps project service in Azure portal where it, you can create a DevOps project and it will create the CICD pipelines using VSTS for our application uh, and it, will, it is done in a, only a few clicks. So it's normally a process that you need to manually do and this, this DevOps project allows you to do that really really easily and quickly. So uh, I'll, what I'll do, I'll create one DevOps project and I'll show you what I mean. So let's go to the DevOps projects and let's create a new project. So as you can see, it first the first step it asks is it's asked for the language, the programming language that your application um, is going to be. So it, I'm going to be I'm going to be choosing a .NET application, but um, as you can see here, Microsoft is not only giving you the opportunity to create .NET applications, also giving you the ability to create um, .NET uh, Node.js, PHP, Java, Python, and Ruby and Go any application you want. So all the top programming languages are listed in here, and it's not a Microsoft only shop anymore. So I'm going to be clicking .NET application and then I'm going to be using a .NET core application and I'm going to go next and then it asks you what sort of delivery methods do you need to uh, do so uh, what sort of like are you going to be uh, deploying the application in a Kubernetes service or are you going to be uh, putting the application in service fabric uh, web application or Linux container based in application and etc. So I'm going to be putting the application in a web app uh, or app service plan. So um, I'm going to be put a, choosing the web app service. So I'm going to click that and click next. And then I need to uh, type in a name for this. So I'm going to be, so I need to choose what VSTS account I'm going to be provisioning. So I'm going to be using my test account and the name of the, um, name of the VSTS uh, project I'm gonna give um, I'm gonna give SP test one um, and that's cool um, I'm gonna be choosing the location as Australia East and then click next so that will complete the um, uh, that will create the DevOps project uh, which will include uh, which will get a sample app uh, from uh, from the source code side of things it will get a sample application and populate it there and then it will configure the configuration or the, the con uh, continuous integration side of things and also it will take the continuous delivery side of things all do do the whole pipelining and then it will deploy the application into a web app at the end so I'm gonna give it a bit of time and then um, uh, resume back so that I can show you what's been created so now that the application has been created, um, I'm going to go into the app DevOps application, uh, Devo Devo DevOps project, and then let's have a look what's inside. So on the left hand side, we have the CICD pipeline um, and also on the right hand side, we have all the issue resources. So in the CICD pipeline, you have the source control, uh, what sort of source control you use. Uh, in this case, I'm going to be I'm using Git repository and then I'm using the master branch for the deployment and building. And then I have the continuous integration side of things in here and what sort of uh, build has been done. So in this case, um, I haven't done any build at all and my first build is in progress. Um, it's because it's, I created the project just, just now f a few minutes ago. Um, so I have here um, the development side of things or the, the delivery side of things. I have uh, one CR CD continuous delivery uh, set up already in here uh, using the DevOps project and it's, it hasn't been run yet. Um, so on this resources side, the application is scheduled to be deployed into the um, uh, web application that, I, that we created and the app inside section is also in there. So let's go to the uh, source code sort of things and I want to see what sort of uh, configuration has happened uh, using the DevOps project. So as you can see, um, I have got a sample application uh, that's in here, sample.net core application um, as for the deployment. And um, and if you go to the build side of things, uh, what the DevOps project has done for us is ha it has created this uh, configuration item in here. 
so it's this this is the so it it basically does the basic stuff all for you it's all it's all created it's working um as an application so as you can see here in in uh, there are tasks added so it uses the .NET core tool installer and then restore build do some testing and then um, publishing the publishing the artifacts as well so all the the t tasks necessary for a basic uh, continuous integration that's all done um th so that's that's done as part of the devops project so if you go to the releases side of things it it must uh, it it's doing a similar uh, a similar job on the continuous delivery side. So on that side, so it's it's do deploying the application into a um, Azure app service uh, app service environment. So uh, you can see that's already configured in here, and it's it's already deploying the application into an app uh, app service. So that's being done and um, you can, as, as a project, you can do your work item management and your code is managed in here. So once you get your application done, you just need to pull down this source code and then replace with the application and then push it up again and off you go. You've got everything, uh, continuous integration and delivery all done for you. So that's that's how um, you these DevOps projects uh, makes your life a lot easier. And in terms of customization, it's all up to you. You can do as many as customizations you want. You can add more uh, into the delivery side of things. You can add more environments and etc. And uh, you can make it a QA or production environment. Uh, so also you can. Um, uh, you can uh, add more tasks into uh, this uh, continuous delivery workflow kind of things and then also on the configuration uh, configuration items you can uh, you can add more tasks customize uh, the configuration items you can do more security security checks and etc and you can uh, there are lots of there are hundreds of tasks uh, to choose from if you want to add uh, they are all in here and also there are some more in the marketplace as well so there are a lot of custom tasks that you can add to customize this so your creativity and uh, however you want to have your ci cd pipeline configured it's all up to you um, vsts provides the platform and um, and it's it makes it a lot easier as a developer for you to configure it so that's that's all about um, the VS uh, the DevOps project side of things. And um, if it's if it has done the continuous delivery, um, it's currently in progress. I'll wait for a bit and then I'll come back to the video and I'll show you how the website is deployed. Okay, now that the continuous delivery has been completed, you can see it's successfully released. Um, and you can see now if you click on the application then it will you will see that the application has been successfully deployed and the application is live in the destination url so that's all been done without like without doing any much work and that's been done only with a few clicks in the devops project so the continuous integration and delivery project is completed and you just need to deploy put your application in and then your ci cd pipeline you can customize it if you want and it's all done for you so that's what DevOps projects do, um, and uh, it's really making it make the CI/CD pipeline deployment really, really easy. Thanks for watching this video, and hope to see you next time.